Oh, what the fruit's going on here? Yes, I am actually Midnight and Beyond from an alternate timeline here to deliver a special message from the future. This is being recorded after I've recorded the entirety of Undertale. Yes, after the neutral run, the pacifist run, the genocide run, and the ultimate hard mode. Well, more on that later. But for now, we are here to cover a very special thing in Undertale that only occurs on October 10th at 8 p.m. This is not blind. I uh, basically, after I finished recording the LP, I looked up pretty much anything and everything else that I didn't know about the game beforehand. And I basically just looked into it to see what I could find. And apparently, guess right here, there is a secret stairwell right here in the second floor of Hotland. Just go to R2 uh, in the elevator, and then you could enter this area. Art Club. Meet here. Next meeting, October 10th, 8 p.m. It always takes place at October 10th at 8 p.m. Um, I believe on the Nintendo Switch version, you could come here all day. It just has to be on October 10th. But, uh, for the... PS4 and Switch and Steam versions, it has to be at 8 p.m. So this is just a little extra thing I thought I'd throw in here just to make the pacifist run a bit longer because I know we've been going through here pretty quickly, cutting a bunch of stuff out, so I wanted to give you some extra content. Speaking of extra content, I'm aware that the Switch version has an extra secret boss. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Uh, it's not part of this LP, maybe a bonus video one day, but this is something I was able to do right here and now, so I didn't really feel too bad about it. No, not feel too bad about it. I didn't feel too bad about it. wasn't too difficult to set up. But for the Switch version, I would have to buy the Switch version. And honestly, I probably would because it comes with like a special keychain stuff. And I don't know, I think Undertale pretty much belongs on a Nintendo console, all things considered. But yeah, I'm recording this at 7.52 right now. So we have eight minutes to kill before uh, something happens. I'm aware of sort of vaguely of what happens, but... I try to keep it as vague as possible because I uh, just wanted to be a bit surprised. This is not the same save file as the current pacifist run right now. I could show you my stats right here, same name of the character. Uh, I got a bunch of crab apples. Uh, heals 18 HP, okay. I have not played in a long stinking time. Uh, something I haven't done throughout the entire game. Um, now that I finished the LP, I was going around and watching a bunch of other LPs of the game. Uh, specifically, Video Games Awesome, they had a stinking hilarious LP of that game. Uh, they only did the neutral run, unfortunately. I would have loved to have seen them do more of it, but... Uh, Fraser's voices for every single character... We pretty much have the same, uh, Papyrus voice, but his Sans voice he get, makes him, like, super cheeky and so stinking hilarious. Like, I make him sound all cool and quiet, kind of just like a very, uh, high opposite of what Papyrus is like... But for Fraser, he makes it sound like he's laughing all the time, and it just sounds funny to me. Apparently, a lot of people didn't like the voice, but I sing and loved it. Uh, also, I really love his Temmie voice. I probably would have come up with that Temmie voice if like, I thought of it a bit longer, or if I just wanted to perfect it or change it over time, that I'd probably use that voice. It's sort of like Elmo if he was gurgling and drowning. It's like, it's like hey, welcome to the Temmie Shopper, I'm like, I pretty much, I very much prefer that voice over mine, which was just, like, kind of my impression of Fraser's impression of Maya, being like, WELCOME TO THE TEAM SHOPPA! I don't know. Whatever, we just gotta kill some time, seven more minutes, it's like waiting in the waterfall in Earthbound! Oh, what could we possibly do? But yeah, something I haven't done throughout the entire LP is, uh, calling Papyrus an Undyne. Apparently you could call Papyrus throughout the entire stinking game, and he has, like, different dialogue for every single room in the game. It's just flavor text, it's just for fun. Uh, I didn't really think to do it because I didn't think it was necessary. I thought was, he was just going to be helping you solve puzzles and whatnot. Though, I know it's like funny flavor text because it's papyrus, so of course it's going to be funny, but I just never really bothered. But let's see what he has to say about the art room since we have got time to kill. It's the only thing we can kill in the pacifist run. No response! Of course, the one time I want to use the phone, there's no response. <sighs> so we just have to wait here. Now the thing is, do I have to leave and come back at 8 p.m. or something like that? Or could I just stay in this room until 8 p.m.? There's nothing wrong with like showing up to a meeting early and that's uh, doesn't seem too outlandish. It's being like fashionably early or just on time or whatever. Okay, so I just have to wait here for six minutes. What the room am I supposed to be doing for six stinking minutes? I don't know. Uh, I could tell you about all the secrets of the future because I've played the entire game now so I could spoil everything for you. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I've, I don't even remember if I did a review of, like, the game as a whole at the end. I, I'm pretty sure I did, so I don't need to talk about that. But, um, what else is there? Uh, I'm recording this, like, a few days after my Code of Princess Let's Play started. 
I'm very happy the videos are finally starting up again, and there's also like a buttload of unboxing and Dream Diary videos that are getting released soon. I wasn't sure if I was gonna even, uh, continue the Dream Diary series, because I kinda wanted to stop it after the movie, because I didn't think I could top it. Well, I know I can't top it after that, but... I don't know, I just thought that would be a good note to end on, but I still just like doing it, it's not that difficult to keep up, so I just continue to do it. As for the unboxing videos, I just don't like the concept of having the unboxing videos be the first thing that people see on my channel. I don't like uploading them when I'm not uploading LP videos at the same time, and it just looks unprofessional and dumb and stuff, but I know it makes people laugh, and it's like sort of a tradition at this point. I'm almost at 100 unboxing videos, my stinking god. Oh, uh, that's gonna be insane when we get to there. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the 100th. I got something in the mail that might be the 100th unboxing video, but I would need to get a few more games before I could get to that. I don't know. Um, it's recorded two days before Luigi's Mansion comes out on the 3DS. I am very much looking forward to that game, but also very worried because uh, Nintendo seems to be messing a lot of things up in terms of remakes. Mario Party of the Top 100 was a steaming pile of garbage. And I'm hoping that they don't do the same to Luigi's Mansion. I know that they made some changes, like if you use Amiibo, it makes easy mode and stuff. Like you could have, if you use a Mario Amiibo, a good mushroom pops out and it heals you, which is lame. Instead of like shrinking you like it normally does. Um, if you use a Luigi Amiibo, a Polter Pup shows up. Polter Pup does not belong in my Luigi's Mansion. He belongs to that trash game of Dark Moon that nobody cares about. Oh, uh, whatever. It would've been amazing if they had a Luigi Poltergust Amiibo. I would've bought that so stinking quickly, but unfortunately they didn't do it. As for Luigi's Mansion 3, I'm so excited for it, but right from the trailer we got, it has the Dark Moon art style, so I'm already a little underwhelmed. Like, after the trailer, I know it wasn't meant to be like Luigi's Mansion graphics or like Luigi Mario style graphics in, in general, but... After seeing that Simon Belmont trailer and everything, I want a terrifying, dark Luigi's Mansion game. Like, even if it's not super dark and edgy, just have that art style, like, that realistic art style, because that's what Louis the first game did. And it was amazing, because it made me just feel so uncomfortable. And I love that about games and shows in general, like, uh, Idolmaster Xenoglossia, how it's about all the idols from Idolmaster being mech pilots and trying to murder each other. I like it just because it's so unsettling and stuff. And I will admit that I absolutely love Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I've been adoring it so far just because it's so weird and out there. And it gives me what I've wanted in a Mario game for so long. Like a story and just something unexpected. So I'm very much enjoying that. I still need to finish the game. But it is a very good time. So I don't know. I hope Luigi's Mansion didn't get messed up too much in the 3DS version. Uh, I will definitely be buying that day one, and hopefully it'll be the last, uh, 3DS game we get. I don't know, I just sort of want the 3DS to die already. Uh, I know, like, we, we're getting, like, Kirby's Epic Yarn on the 3DS. I like how it's called Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, that's a great name, but I don't think I'll be getting that. Uh, with Luigi's Mansion, it's just a lot more personal, because I adore that game so much, and it's, uh, honestly, it's tied with Chibi Robo and Night's Journey of Dreams. Those will be my three most played games of all time, so it's very important to me, and I'm gonna be very critical about it. But whatever, we'll see what it's like. I'm just gonna keep on waiting. We are two minutes away from 8 p.m. It's like waiting for New Year's or something like that. Uh, do I have to read the sign or whatever? I don't know. It would be really crummy as if my computer was like one minute off or if my PS4 was one minute off. Uh, so it's 7.59 there, 7.59 there. Okay, so they're kind of on the same clock it seems. So uh, it would just be very unfortunate if like when my computer hit like eight o'clock, my PS4 hit 8.01 or something like that. But Hopefully with the power of the internet and time manipulation, it just, it'll work just fine. Uh, I can't even walk around the sign. How lame. Oh, we got one minute to go. This is the most exciting thing ever. Reminds me of my New Year's uh, a few years ago. I don't even know what I did before New Year's. Um, I honestly cannot remember, but... I remember uh, last or two New Year's ago, I was just like all alone, like I was just working, and then I looked at the clock, I was like, oh hey, it's a new year, I didn't even notice, but whatever. We are almost at 8 o'clock, any second now, I would say any minute now, but it's literally just a minute away, and less than a minute away at this point, so it will probably be any second now, I've run out of things to talk about, let's hurry up and get to 8 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock! What happened? Next meeting, October 10th, 8 p.m. Oh. Hello? Ah, uh, I'm late, I'm late. Uh... Hmm. Hey, I'm late! 
I'm late for a very important date. I've never seen Alice in Wonderland, so I don't know what his voice is. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hello. You're blocked impolitely. You're blocked impolitely. This character is called So Sorry. If I were an Undertale character, I guess. It's a optional mini boss that was added in by a Kickstarter goal, apparently. It was made by someone who backed the Kickstarter. I didn't even know Undertale was a Kickstarter game. I thought uh, it was just made, but apparently it was Kickstarted and it was very sick and successful, apparently. Uh, I think the goal is like $5,000, but then it reached like 200000 <laughs> And this was uh, one of the rewards. Also, Muffet was a Kickstarter character that was like designed by a fan, so that was sort of the whole point of her existence is because someone paid to have her in the game. So, every throughout the entire game when I'm complaining as to why she doesn't have a super important role in the game, it's because she was just sort of like a character that was added in because uh, someone paid for her to exist. And she seems to be like one of the most famous and beloved characters in Undertale, which is interesting. Uh, but so sorry, I've never heard of this thing. I just knew that I had to come here at uh, 8 p.m. for something to happen. And it's a boss. Uh, check something. You say hello. They're a bit preoccupied. Oh, I'm so sorry. How clumsy of me. I might bump into you. I'm such a klutz. I was uh, just here to find something to draw and... Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll give you a gift to make up for your troubles. Let me look in, in my vest. Uh, whoa. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Just remember how to do this. You just have to remember what to do. Blue means stay. Orange means go. The enemy tries to copy your movements so it fits in. Uh, something. You smile. They're a bit preoccupied. Oh, I couldn't find anything I wanted to give. Wait, wait. I've got my notebook. I can draw you a picture in it. I'm quite the artist, you know. I'll draw you a great picture! Okay. 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 This is sort of easy. Okay. Uh, I'll try not to say okay too much. The enemy uses hype hypnotizing 3D tush wiggle attack. What the fruit? Uh, something. You cough, they're a bit preoccupied. Sorry, the drawing didn't come out very well. Wait, I know the problem. I just have to find a better piece of paper for it. Uh, okay, now this here's an actual attack. Oh god, oh god, oh, and it's piling up underneath me. Uh, it's a bit Ako Taco, okay. And he looks nervous. I'm a little nervous. Something, you weep, they're a bit preoccupied. None of my papers are good enough to use. It's okay, I know what I can do. I'll use my magic pencil. It has to be under some of those papers somewhere. Uh, just throw more papers. It's a very cool looking 3D effect or something like that. Uh, could I just get away from all these things? Uh, the enemy taps his fingers together like jackhammers. Something. You wave. They're a bit preoccupied. Here, I got it. My magic pencil is amazing. Everything I draw with it looks completely real. Hello. Uh oh, that's a little too real. What is it, like Chalk Zone or something like that? Oh jeez, oh god, oh jeez, oh man. Oh god, okay. Uh, the enemy looks anxious. Uh, so sorry, Doodlebog, Doodlebog C? What, shouldn't it be Doodlebog B? Well, I guess because of the third enemy, but it's the second Doodlebog, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, draw. You draw a boat, away it goes! <laughs> uh, okay, we're just avoiding these things. Avoid Parkinson's. Uh, doodlebox C, draw. You draw a boat, away it goes. I messed up, I'm really messed up, oh no. I'll just use up my regular pencil, I'll try my best. Uh, uh, oh god, you're gonna make me, oh no, this is evil. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 that's a bit, wait, 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 that's a bit awkward. Um. Huh. You know, the game's been awfully forgiving about a lot of other hashtag reset things involving bosses, so... You think they'll still be here? Wow, the game isn't a jerk! Hooray! I wonder if it's just for as long as, like, uh... Since I've activated it, as long as I don't turn off the console, then I'll be able to... Uh, keep them around or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, not check. Wait, hmm, I couldn't find anything. Wait, wait, got a notebook, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, what did it say with checking? So sorry, this creature is definitely in the wrong time and space. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, avoid all these things. So at least I know that I could fight it indefinitely, or maybe it's just like until... I don't know if there's a talent on the art club meeting. Maybe it does end at some point. Let's just try and finish this up. Uh, beat the entire stinking game, you think I wouldn't get stuck on a stinking mini boss of some of sorts? Uh, just keep on avoiding it. And yeah, uh, just FYI, even though it's an optional boss, it does count towards like your pacifistness. So if you kill this thing, then you lose the pacifist run. Just keep that in mind. Here, I got it. I hear apparently like some enemies in the game, which we actually missed a, a couple of enemies. They're, they only appear under certain circumstances. Some of them could actually be killed without it counting towards a genocide run or a pacifist run or something like that. So that's kind of interesting, but uh, whatever. We're not going to try and uncover every single enemy in this game. I just know that this was a very specific one and like it has an entire area that we missed out on. So I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, draw a boat, away it goes. Uh, oh jeez. Wow, okay, this is actually gonna be kind of difficult. Uh, cutting away, I suppose, to when we get back to this part of the fight, because I was not expecting this to actually be difficult. I was hoping it would just be a fun little bonus thing, but of course it's Undertale, so it's gonna be difficult. Are you wearing a different hat from before? I don't remember you wearing that hat. Are you ready? I just finished. Here's my future picture, what do you think? It's a representation of your deepest essence. It's great, right? They think my art is terrible. Well, I'll leave you with that thought. Goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Nice knowing ya. Hasta la vista. I should leave. I was literally one turn away. Hooray. Cool. Earned it. Zero experience and 100 gold. Let's meet again someday. Preferably October 10th at 8 p.m. And yeah, that's it. That's the end of this mini boss thing. Leave it come back. That's it. Okay, that was interesting. Didn't take too much time, sort of. Uh, I don't know if this is being put at the end of a video or smack dab in the middle of one. If it's smack dab in the middle of a video, then I will go ahead and cut back to what the heck we were doing. If it is at the end of a video, then I will just say next time on Undertale, we're gonna do something. That's very appropriate considering what we just did, but also because I have no idea where this is getting edited into. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.